In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to use keyframes and the rotation setting. You can rotate any object, text, or video. We're going to simply rotate it, the image of a baseball in this example. So what I've done is I've taken a color board and placed it on track number one. Now I have a picture of a ball. It's not a perfect picture because the white is slightly different in the background, but it'll be good enough for our illustration. And I'll take it here and I'll drag the length of it, its appearance on the screen to match my color board. Then I'd like it a bit smaller, so I'm simply going to drag it to a small size and move it off the screen to start with. So I'm going to double click on the ball. And it starts here. We're going to use another feature of keyframe that we looked at before that was position. So with the playhead back at the start, I will click on the diamond and we'll set the keyframe over here. Now I'll move the key, the, uh, the um, scrubber or timeline to the right. Now I'll move the ball down here and we have the keyframe is now set here at this location. To double check, you just click on the left arrow and right arrow. Left arrow, it's up there. Right arrow to the next keyframe, it's over there. Since there are only two, that's exactly what I want. Now let's look at rotation. We're going to click uh, back to the left side because we want this keyframe to change. And we'll click on the rotation. It'll set a rotation of zero here. It's not rotating at all. But now I want to go to the end of my little clip here. I'll click over here. And I want to set rotation again. So what I can do is I can right click and do add keyframe. Now the rotation is still set to zero. But what I can do is I can go to my motion tab. And then I can <clears throat> set rotate clockwise or counterclockwise, and I can set on the degrees. Every combination of 360 will give me one full rotation. Like 720 would give me two, and I can keep uh, moving forward. I can make it go real fast or real slow in terms of how much it spins. And let's just do something like that, and I get a nice little preview here. So with that done, I have set my keyframe for rotation at the end to be down here and to have spun in this period of time this many times. So I'll click on OK. And then what we'll simply do is uh, preview it in our window and see if it looks good. Click on Movie and let's go. And that's not too bad. And our ball is rolling off screen. That's a pretty simple way to use rotation in with keyframes. And you can cause it to spin fast or slow. We could also speed it up another way if we wanted to by shortening the distance between this keyframe and the other keyframe. For example, if I took this one and moved it here, it's still going to rotate as much as it did before, but it'll go a lot faster. So here's an example. Now it's really spinning. Okay, and there's no keyframe after, so it stays constant. If I wanted to keep it spinning, I would probably just leave this keyframe on the right side and increase the number on my motion tab.